Yo, yo. Welcome. This is Big Vike, a magical box breaks and wars. Tonight, we have another box of Time Spiral Remastered to do pack wars with. We're going to have three wars tonight. Each war is going to have four seats. Each seat's going to be assigned three packs. Whoever pulls the highest price individual card from their packs wins all other mythics, rares, time shifted, and three dollar or more cards from their war. We're hunting mythics. Five of the top seven price wise are mythics. The other two in that top seven are Chalice of the Void and Thought Seas, time shifted. Your top rares are Pact of Negation at 9 and Urborg at 10. And of course, we're all here to see who hits the foil time shifted card. It's got to be an automatic war winner. It has been in the first two events that we've held. Giveaways tonight will be two packs. All non-winners from each war will be entered in a giveaway drawing. Top name on that randomized drawing will win two packs. Right after we get done with the wars, James has his giveaway from Jumpstart event. A couple packs of Time Spiral. So they will be opened live right after we get done with the... As soon as I wrap up this event, we'll open them. And he, yeah, we'll get right into it. Crack this bad boy. So yeah, I will randomize the list and then yeah, this will be war one, this is war two, and this is war three. And there's our first war. And here is Michael, Sean, James, and Rico is our first one. Yo, yo, what's up, Kevin? Yo, yo, what's up, Justin? What's up, Kiara? What's up, Brian? See how many times we randomize it. Nine. One, two, three, four. Eight. Here's our list. Michael, James, Sean, Rico. Michael, James, Sean, Rico. Rico gets last dibs. Final boss leading off. Come on, some protection. Keep these nice and packed fresh for you guys. Yeah, who's pulling the time shifted foil tonight? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this one short? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay. That one was from that middle. Here we go, Michael, leaving off. So, yeah, we're going by my list. I got it maybe 
20, 25 minutes ago. Top 25 cards. Over five bucks I have. And these are just like we like them. Um, commons, uncommons, and then your big boys at the end. So we will fly through the commons and uncommons. Michael, first one is a mythic right off the bat for Michael. A living end. Not on the list. Man, starting with a mythic, though. What's your time shifted, Michael? A red young pyromancer. And a token behind it. Man, hit a mythic right off of bat, but not a big one. James Pack one. Man, we started with that card on top both times. Mm -hmm. Some kind of for shiny in the back for James and Pack one. A rare. Oh, there's the top rare in the box. Pack the negation right off the bat for James. It's up over 15, number nine highest price. And behind it, a blue time shifted barrel. Is he, yeah, and he's at the bottom. He's number 24, 534. So, man, James hits two on the money list straight in his pack one. And then he's got a foil. Common. Wow. Still a killer first pack for James. Two hits. A barrel. Time shifted. And packed is our rabbit so packed is number nine you gotta pull a yog moth why won't that focus there it goes packed is number nine it's yog moth vesuva gemstone caverns thought seas damnation chalice of the void Karma Goyf and Sliver Legion can beat it. So just like that, we're yeah inside the top eight to win this war. And yeah, like I said, James with two hits in the two money list hits in pack one. Here we go. Sean, pack one. And of course, the time shifted foil. You got it. That's always in the mix. A rare, a draining whelk. Your time shifted is a black Liliana's Triumph and a token. Rico pack one. Yo, yo, what's up, James? Nice pack one. Ooh, whoa. Ricos are trying to jump out of my hand. Is that because they're that hot or because that they're that ugly? They're trying to run away. Whatever he has here at the back. Rico pack one, rare, Ajaya. Time shifted is, oh, artifact. Oh no, old land, an ancient den, and the token. So 
So yeah, James and Pact of Negation as our rabbit. Michael Pack too. Sliver Smith, that one that creates the slivers. Michael with a rare, a Kerr cap or keep. There's a kobolds of Kerr keep create or tokens. And another red time shifted. You've gotten two red time shifted. I like molten rain, anything that destroys land in the token. James, pack two. Both his mythic or mythic rare slot or his and his time shifted were on the money list in pack one. He has the lead currently. This set is still loaded though, and the, the extra, yeah, like I said, the time foil. Or time shifted foil aspect. It's like that. It's almost a guaranteed war winner every time. Rare. Rada. Time shifted blue. So you've gotten two blue. A mole drifter. Huh. So Michael's gotten two red time shifted, and James has gotten two. And there's your kobolds token that used to be on the money list. It's just below it now. I think. I'm not even sure where they are now. We'll keep it to the side. Sean Pack, too. We got a rare behind it. Safi for Sean. Time shifted is green. Ooh, a far seek. I always like to see green. And a token. Rico pack two. Rico pulling a just a rare sudden spoiling. What's your time shifted? Oh, more lander artifact. Look at that. And Rico pulls two lands for his time shifted. Man, how does that happen? James pulls two blue time shifted, and Michael pulls two red time shifted. Here we go, though, last week, James. Got to avoid three of them. Pack to the negation. Got to be in the top eight non-foil prices. Michael, last chance here. What is that? There's an extra foil in the back somewhere for Michael. I don't know what slot it fell into. If it's the rare slot or the time shifted. Oh, I think it is the time shifted again because his rare is the Mira. Did Michael just hit the time shifted foil in War One again or War One? Oh man, no. Sorry, man. We do have a foil back here. What is it? Oh, just an uncommon. 
Man, sorry, Michael, for getting you excited, man. Just that at the back. I thought that was in the time shifted slot. Michael hit what was it? Ever flowing chalice time shifted foil in the last box. And then James hit the primeval Titan time shifted foil in the first box. Here goes yours, James. You got packed in negation right now. See if you can improve on it. Feels like you might have an extra one here in the back too, or there's a lot of cards left. A rare. What's the time shifted? Oh, just read lava spike. And you do got a foil common. And then your metallic sliver. So James, just got to dodge these two. Got to dodge Sean and Rico. Sean and Rico looking for top eight. Non-foil price-wise. There's your chance, Sean. Your last chance. Sean, last pack, you pull. A rare. Glittering Wish. What's the time shifted? Ooh, multicolor. Pride Mage and just a token. So here we go, James. Comes down to James and Rico. <laughs> And Rico hit some last pack magic with something better than Pact of Negation. Yeah, Rico and James coming down to a couple big time players in a lot of groups. Rico, just a rare life and limb. Only time shifted can beat it are the top two big boy or no Yogma Thought Caesar Chalice of the Void. So it's gotta be black or artifact. Oh, it's green. Elvish Mystic, which of course I love being a green and elf guy. And a Foil, oh, a foil mythic behind it for Rico to, whoa, here we go. Does Rico Blast Pack Magic pulling a mythic foil at the back? And it is, oh, a Wheel of Fate. I don't think it's making it. I'll have to look, though, just to verify. What is, we what? number do i have on wheel of fate foil wheel of fate foil the normal is just a dollar 93 foil is 755 so it's another money card but it doesn't make it man that's a serious sweat though rico pulls a foil mythic to end it Whoa, so two Mythics come out in that one. But James and Pact and Negation get it. Yeah, that's a nice ending, though. From That is definitely a good sweat at the end from Rico, a foil Mythic. So Sean, Michael, and Rico will go in our giveaway drawing. James, here's your your winning. 
Vikings, you pulled two out of the three from this one. You pulled barrel and packed a negation from the same pack, but then Rico pulls the mythic foil wheel of fate last pack of the war to contribute to the winnings. And yeah, so yeah, you pulled them two in the same pack. And Pack wins it for you. Congrats, James. No time shifted comes out, though, or the foil. Second war is Ben, Justin, Brian, and Kira. Ben, Justin, Brian, Kiera. Or Kira, sorry. Six. Double threes. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Here's our list. Ben, Kira, Justin, Brian gets last. Ben, Kira, Justin, Brian gets last. Here we go, Ben, leaving off War 2. with a rare drow new and behind it land and we've gotten a lot of time shifted lands and behind it a foil oh ben's got a foil rare here to start give us something good Nether Trader, they don't. And the token behind it. Kira pack one. Yeah, good job. Good luck, gentlemen and lady. Here's our lady who's been participating recently. Kira, pack one of Time Spiral Remastered. Just a rare a Magus. Behind it, your time shifted is a white ethereal armor. Or ethereal. And your soldier token. Justin pack one. Justin, rare, uh, if your time shifted, there's a one other white, a Thraben Inspector, and you have a foil behind, a foil common, 
And then a Sapperling. Brian. Pack one, closing out the first sweep. War two. Here you go, Brian. No. Did I just see the super sauce for Brian in the back? Brian pulls a rare. Behind it is. Could be a land or an artifact. A crystal shard. Behind that is. I believe it's our time shifted foil. It is leveler. I'll have to look that one up. There, J or Brian hits our foil. What is leveler at? Leveler foil. So normal leveler is only 41 cents. Oh. The foil is 1420. Wow, so 1420 leveler. And that was Brian in War Two. So not a great one. But there's our foil comes out in War Two. Nice hit, Brian. It can be overtaken though. This is one of the rare opportunities where the time shifted foil can actually be beat. Here we go, Ben Pack Two. So, yeah, at least the top eight non foil can beat the time shifted foil. So it's not as safe as most wars, or most wars, like I said, it's been an automatic war winner the first two opportunities. This is like the first somewhat bulky time-shifted foil that I've pulled. The other two were nice. That Primeval Titan is real nice. Here we go, Ben. Pack two. A rare Heartwood Storyteller. Oh, and a Courser of Crufix. I was thinking that I just pulled a Titan right as I'm talking about it. Sort of been doing that recently, if you watch the videos. Kira Pack 2. The Time Shifted Foil is actually a catchable rabbit. With two packs to go for everyone. Here you go, Kira. Pack two or three. <clears throat> okay. Oh, Kira pulls a mythic. Is this one of the... How many mythics are above it? There are one, two, three, four, five mythics. Above that leveler, does she pull one here? No, man. Just sort of bulky mythics tonight thus far, too. The time shifted is... Ooh, another artifact. Simulcrum. Man, they're like teasing us. We got to hit a couple big mythics after a couple not on the money list. Justin Pack 2. There's just 
These are all about where does the money come out? Where does the winnings and the money come out? War one, two, or three. Justin with a rare hive stone and making everything else slivers. Time shifted is red. A Timur battle rage and a goblin token. Brian pack two. Hit the time shifted foil on pack one. And you better it. Pack two, Brian, pulling a rare Calaria West. Time shifted is green. Evolutionary leap. And a token. I guess I don't have to look for that extra time shifted foil at the back anymore. So Brian's got the lead going into the last sweep. Got to avoid three, Brian. Here's Ben's last shot. Factory. Ben with a just a rare. A tomb stalker. Time shifted. Last chance, Ben. A red. Exquisite firecraft. I have the foil edition of that. And then a token. Kira, last chance here. Brian, down to two before your victory lap, or if you can avoid two here. Yeah, I heard about this getting multiple foils in some boxes. I've heard it's been done multiple times. I don't know, did we just do it? I just saw something in Shiny at the back for Kira about in that slot. They give us a couple like not so high priced ones. Do you know what they were, James? Them couple in the box? Were they like high priced ones or were they low price? Just a rare Kira here to start. Flagstones. Your time shifted is multicolored. Feather the Redeemed. And the foil behind it, oh, it's just an uncommon calciderm and a token. Justin, last shot. Man, you got to think something else from the money list hits in this war. It's just going to be the foil time shifted. Justin, last one here. Brian just got. Whoa, you just got two $45 ones in a box? Man, that's crazy. That's so cool that people have been pulling extra or like more than one foil time shifted from a box. Justin, last chance. If not, Brian has a victory lap. Come on, give us a sweat here at the end. Yeah, Chalice of the Void would be sweet, Justin, right? That would definitely give you the win here. Justin with a, just a rare to start. Comes down your time shifted here. Do we have an artifact like he's calling for? No, we have a multicolored, a slime foot. Ooh, a foil behind it. A oh, foil common behind it. So victory lap for Brian. Does he... 
pull another one from the money list to put with his winnings? Or do they just give us that for this one? And then, yeah, there's got to be some money coming up in the third war. Congrats, Brian. First ever battle win, huh? Yeah, let's pile something on here for you. Little additional winnings here. And I got to imagine, yeah, add to the time shifted foil collection. Hopefully, you don't have leveler. James with a rare. Oh, a big rare. That would have won it anyway. Oh, no. Erborg, I have at 1396. Leveler was 1420. So that would have been a good. Man, if they both weren't Brian, that would have been an outstanding end. A white time shifted Stonehorn Dignitary. He does put another nice one, though, in the winnings with an Erborg. Man, see, <laughs> like I said, that would have been a great ending if it was not a victory lap pack. Because that would only have been, yeah, a 24 cents victory for the leveler and the foil time shifted. So Justin, Ben, and Kira will go in our giveaways. Yeah, Brian, congrats. First war victory ever. I hope you haven't been in too, too many and not had a victory yet. So, yeah, you hit Erborg in your last pack to pile on your winnings, which is 1396 I have, and Leveler at 1420. You pull the time shift in. Time shifted foil in the box. Congrats, man. That's awesome. Glad I can be part of it, man. And there's our last 12. And here's our last war. Luke. James with an additional, his additional seat. Garza and Phil. Hopefully this list is saved. Yeah, here we go. Here's our last war. Luke, James, Garza, Phil. See how many times we randomize it. And I'll distribute it that way. Eight. One. And doesn't like the gloves. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's our list. Phil, Luke, James, Garza gets last licks. Phil, Luke, James. And Garza gets last shot. And we know the time shifted foil is out of it. And man, we pulled three or four mythics too, but they've all not been, yeah, big time ones. Give us a couple big time mythics in this war. We've hit both the top two rares. And yeah, and our time shifted foil. Hmm, here we go, Phil. Pack one, more three. Leading it off. Here we go. Rare. Cloud key. People like them, but they're not on the money list. Not $5 plus. A green time shifted. A beast whisperer. And your...
Cobalt token, which again, I'm not sure exactly where they fall right now. He's probably still a couple bucks. Maybe they're not. Maybe nobody's using that card, them cards anymore. That create that guy. <coughs> Luke pack one. Definitely a foil in the back, Luke. But we've already pulled what? Yeah, we've already pulled a mythic foil and a rare foil. Luke pack one is a rare Sarah Avenger. Time shifted is black. Sanguine bond. The foil is a common crook claw transmuter. And an assembly worker token. James with his additional seat. James hit war one. See if he can make it two for two tonight with seats. James with a mythic. What is it? Oh man, sort of another another one not on the list. The chroma. Time shifted is artifact. Oh, and there's leveler. Man, so we pull the foil and the normal leveler. <laughs> Oh man, what did I say? That was like 40 cents or something. Or maybe a dollar forty. I don't even know. The Griffin. Huh. Guards a pack one. Man, so yeah, what do we have? Four mythics in the box, and they're all not on five none of them fall over five bucks. Give us one big mythic now. Garza pack one, war three. Rare, reiterate. Time shifted is multicolor. A trigon. And he's got a foil rare behind it. Give us something good. Flagstones of Trochaic Care foil and a token. So, yeah, let me see what Flagstones foil is real quick. Flagstones. Normal is. Oh, it's close to four bucks normally. What's the foil? The foil is 9.15. That's a nice hit. Nice hit for Garza. Foil. Flagstones. For Garza. In War 3 to take the lead. 9-15. So Garza and Foil. Flagstones of Trocare. Become the rabbit. It's cool how the light's coming through the clouds there or the fill pack too. What is with this one?
So with a rare, another packed, packed of the Titan. Time shifted is blue. Laboratory Maniac, which is normally a pretty good card. I'm not sure the time shifted one's not on the money list, so. And a, oh, I thought you had an extra one. Luke back to hunting flagstone. So non foil top 50. There's 15 cards on the money list. Well, that's including the ones we've already pulled from it. But yeah, 15 and down can beat it or up. 15 and up. Luke back two of War three. Gets a, just a rare, Angel of Salvation. What's the time shifted? Red. Alicia. He smiles at death. Man, that's hardcore when you smile at death. James, with your additional seat, pack two. I really like this artwork on the spirit guide. The big, huge ape. I don't know if it's just because I've been seeing them King Kong vs. Godzilla commercials or what, but... James, you pull a rare... Another packed. They're slaughter packed. Time shifted is a row of land. And then a token. Garza hit the foil flagstones. Pack one. See if you can better it. Garza just hitting the jumpstart wars. Rare. The nodes. Time shifted is black. Gray merchant. Here we go. Garza got to dodge three of them. Even if one of them three in front of you hit, you got the last pack, though. So is that last pack going to matter, or is it going to be a victory lap for Garza? Here we go, Phil. Last chance. See another foil at the back. Is another rare or mythic foil coming? That's what we need. Hey, just a rare in the front. Oh, and a summer nurse packed. Which again must just be off the list. Man, so if we hit all the packs, we hit the black, red, blue, green. Did we uh, we didn't hit the white packed, I don't think. And the green at time shifted. Oh, there's our Titan. Man, I pull a Titan or two every box, too. So Primeval Titan doesn't beat it. It's at eight bucks. Foil Flags is at 9.15. So that was Phil's last pack. He adds to the winnings. And a Foil Uncommon. Man, I really like Primeval Titan. Talk about Green Ramp. So Titan comes out in the last round. <laughs> Luke last shot. Guards are down to two packs. You got to dodge. 
I see another foil at the back. Uh, one card early. I'm switching over. We have a a mythic for Luke. Whoa, are they finally gonna give us a good mythic in this box? Does Luke hit it? No, a Teferi. Huh. Man, so what do they give us? Five mythics, but they're none of them are over five bucks. Ooh, and I believe an artifact time shifted. A panharmonica. Man, so we've had a couple to the money list. Oh, that takes the lead. That's 985. Luke jumps into the lead by 70 cents with Panharmonicon. Man, nice last ending here. Just a common foil. Man, so Garza, your last pack does matter. And Harmonica taking the lead. Luke in his last pack of the war. Jumping in front by 70 cents. So Luke, now it's to you. You got to dodge two of them. Man, we go hit, hit though to open up the third round. A Titan and a Panharmonica. Monicon. Good ending to this one. Here we go, James. Last pet or last chance. Got to be Panharmonicon. Panharmonicon is number 15 on the money list. So plenty of cards that still can beat it here at the end. Uh -uh. A rare extirpate. Your time shifted is a multicolor cloud shredder sliver. That's not doing it. So here we go. Garza was leading the whole time. Now you need some last pack in the war magic to win it. Take back the win from Luke. Here we go. Let's give him a sweat at the end. Garza to end it. Can it beat Panharmonicon? A rare draw new. So last chance with the time shifted. Time shifted that can beat it are Ponder, Kiki Jiki, Yogmoth, Thought Seas, and Chalice of the Void. So five that can beat it. A blue. Is there any blue? Oh, no Ponder. Talran. So Lucas wins it. Man, good war at the end. Couple hits in the third round. The lead switches with two packs to go. Luke takes it home. So nothing huge coming out of the box. But a bunch of decent time shifted. Seemed like we got, what, three foil rares and a mythic rare in the box. So Luke, here's your winnings. War 3. Primeval Titan. A foil flagstones, which was leading most of the war. And then with two packs to go, you pull a Panharmonicon to win by 70 cents. Nice war, gentlemen. Luke wins it. Here's our giveaway, guys and girl. So James just got to come out because he won one more one. And then I don't believe any of the other non-winners are. No, they're not. And didn't have an additional seat. And I'll do the quick. I'll do the giveaway. 
if the giveaway winner is with us, we'll quick a quick give you the option if you want them opened or uh, sent shipped, and then I'll open James to uh, jumpstart giveaway packs. <clears throat> so our list is Michael, Rico, Kira, Ben, Sean. Phil, Justin, and Garza. There's our giveaway list. See how many times we randomize it? Five. Person at the top of the list is going to get two time spiral packs. What was it? Just five, right? Yeah, five. So that's three. Four was Sean and Ben at top. Here it is, our winner. Oh, Ben jumps in. So Ben is the king of hitting the giveaways. He already hit a... Ben, do you want me to open your other one too? Your conspiracy? From your other giveaway? Is Ben with us? Ben, if you're with us, do you want these shipped sealed or do you want me to open them right now? So, yeah, this was Ben again hit. And then I'll open James packs. James giveaway packs. See if we can hit a big mythic here. Since we didn't hit one in the box. James, here you go. And this pack and the next one are all yours. Whatever you want shipped. You want just none of them, all of them. Okay. A rare a cloud key. Time shifted is a land or an artifact. A land. A blighted woodland behind it. And a token. So, yeah, these packs are coming from a brand new fresh box as well. So, you got a chance. I actually randomized. I put one through 36 in a list, hit randomize, and went through and picked out the four packs the two packs for James and the two packs for the giveaway. So, yeah, it was like all throughout the box. So, you definitely have the chance of hitting a, a foil time shifted with these. James pack two. Give us a mythic. Oh, we do. They listen to me. We got a mythic behind this for James. Here we go, James. Oh, another Teferi. Man, so we pulled two Teferis as mythics. Time shifted is black. Oh, there's a nice one, though. Yeah, there's a top tenner. That's up to close to 16 bucks, number eight on the money list. So we hit a nice time shifted there for James. Does he have the foil behind it? He does. I, oh, he does. And we pull the foil out of the box for him. I believe it's the foil time shifted, James. This is unbelievable. A two, a one in 18 shot. You had two out of 36 packs, so one out of 18, and I think you hit it. The randomized numbers. Yes. It is a Johnny's Pride Me. Wow, look at that pack. The Yawgmoth and the time shifted foil. What is a Johnny's Pride Mate foil? So, yeah, Yawgmoth is close to 16. And a Johnny's Pride Mate is close to 16 as well. Wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. A Johnny's Pride May is fifteen fifty nine. So imagine if that was a war. You pull the foil time shifted and it gets beat by Yogmoth by thirty seven cents, it would have been. Wow, James, a nice one. We end up pulling the foil time shifted for you in your two packs. And yeah, and the and the time shifted in front of it was Yogmoth. So these are both coming to you, James. Holy crap, man. I can't believe your luck. My fire hands for you. Man. So there's that one. And then Yogmoth, too. Both in your second pack. Yeah, wow is right, buddy. Oh, man, so you got some trade bait, Brian. You got another foil leveler. Man, and James just, yeah, nice hits there at the end. I don't believe Ben is with us. So, yeah, Ben will be getting these shipped to him. James hit these two in his giveaway packs from Jumpstart. Do a quick recap. James, these are also coming to you. War one victory. A barrel. A foil wheel of fate. And which won it for you? Best rare in the set. Pact of negation. Have I already sent you a Pact of Negation too? Brian, congrats. His uh first victory here. For a war. He pulls an or Urborg, his last pack. But he pulled the time shifted foil out of that box for the war two victory. And then Luke wins war three. In his war, his highlights of his winnings are Titan. Flagstones foil. I believe I have already sent you one, James. Or maybe I traded for it because I have one. And Panharmonicon wins it for you. And I did not crack a Pact of Negation from my personal box. And that's going to Luke. Ben hit our giveaway again. So two straight events. He's hit the giveaway. Or no, this is from uh, Throne, I believe. And then these are from Time Spiral. James, yeah, with your Jumpstart giveaway packs. This was in one pack for you. Fresh box. I just pull that two packs out for you. And the one pack ends up having the foil time shifted. And then Yogmoth as well. So that is James. Coming up. I will put Theros Beyond Death Reserve Seat up there over the next couple days. Uh, then we'll do a Zendikar Rising, hunting the list cards again. <coughs> and then we'll do uh, another master set, another really saucy master set. If you want to get involved, check us out. Facebook group, Magical Box Breaks and Wars. You guys have a good night. Congrats to the winner, James, Brian, and Luke. Ben, our giveaway. And James for the sick pack at the end. Have a good night, guys and girl. Peace.